Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Cryptids of the Week video. I thought I would mix one of these in while I'm wrapping up the Mysteries and Oddities videos. Please keep on with those suggestions. By the way, I'm probably going to wrap things up by early next week and then start focusing on other stuff. But this Cryptids of the Week video is a special edition one in a sense that I'm mixing in two of them, two actual cryptids within this one video. And the reason for it was in clicking on the random page for this go around, it brought me to one that had very little information on it. And so I decided to go ahead and skip it only because it had such brief info. But then when I hit the random page again, it brought me to yet another cryptid, also with a small snippet of information. So I thought to myself, why not mix both in this case? Almost do like a mixtape, if you will, uh, which harkens back to some of my other popular videos. But in this case, I'm mixing him in with the of the week series. But yes, they have to do with two animals that could actually be truly missing interpreted with real life animals but in this case it's up to you to decide so one of them is called very very strangely known as humility and then the other cryptid has an even more unique name it's known as the font siandri so let's go ahead let's talk about all the information associated with these two cryptids first off humility I don't know exactly why it's called that name like why it has such a distinct uh, such a distinct Distinct like title to it. So in this case, obviously humility is more on the lines of a feeling, but in this case, it is truly tied to its name. But yes, it was purportedly a bird, one bird in essence, not necessarily like a whole clan of them, but in this case, a bird. But something that was living in Connecticut during a long time period back, 17 around the late 1700s to be exact. In fact, it was part of the American lumberjack's tale. Interestingly enough, this bird did not fall into my beloved beloved lumberjack tales of series like in terms of the more fantastical stuff no it just seems like in this case it was a cryptid that truly lived within the era of the lumberjacks if that makes sense but yes the way it was reported and this was done by a reverend a guy by the name of Samuel Peters he wrote a book called the general history of Connecticut back in 1781 to be specific and he was the one that helped chronicle the information on this bird this cryptic like bird so what it is essentially it's a cryptid that looks like an eagle very much so like an eagle again could actually be an eagle itself like I was mentioning earlier but yes the key distinct with feature with this animal is the fact that it has probably some of the most superior eyes out there in the animal world. far more then let's say you would expect from your average eagle. We all know that when birds are hunting, they have those amazing eyes. I mean, they're out there towards the top of the skies, and yet they can look downwards and then spot a mice, like something, a rat running down in the ground from that high up. Well, imagine this, but multitude of times more powerful in terms of its eyes, and you have this humility, uh, this bird that was named Humility. And it was so good with with its eyesight that it was able, according to, in this case, the good reverend, it was able to avoid every shot done by hunters. No matter how much a hunter would aim straight at it, it would fire. It was almost like I could totally imagine this thing almost seeing the bullet like in slow motion. It would, it would avert it. It could actually uh, see this stuff coming straight at it. And doing so, it would just avoid it and, and then uh, not be killed outright but yes it could do so with every single shot that a hunter did so where this eagle got this fantastic you know set of eyes whether it was nature evolution or just a one-off item who knows but this one bird this humility had that distinct notion of it must have gotten like a like a fan base of some kind something where hunters everywhere probably came out trying to find it trying to be the one that would essentially claim this thing as a trophy but no nobody could ever shoot it down it would always avoid this 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 the set of hunters but that's pretty much it again the info is pretty brief on this creature no known indication on where it's at now whether it maybe it carried on it straight to others uh, let's say other generations of eagles nothing along those lines it's just pretty much that one off time period there in the late 1700s but that's the info named for humility I don't know exactly why it was called that because humility 
doesn't make it seem like it ties to its actions. Like somebody being so good at dodging, in this case, uh, hunters, um, it, it seems like it would be tied to a different name. But who knows how it got that name outright. But yes, as far as the second cryptid, you're looking at it now. I mentioned it earlier, that unique name, that font Siandri. This is something that has another moniker, otherwise known as the White Sheep. In this case, though, you have to go to Madagascar in order to find this, specifically, you know, deep down within the forest there of Madagascar. So imagine this. Uh, this thing is a humanoid-like sheep. So something like amalgamation of a human or sheep, probably bipedal. Probably, like in this case, the stature of a human, uh, the height of a human, maybe even the uh, the muscles of a human. But yes, something that still can, can you can pinpoint looks like a sheep. If one of its most distinct features, of course, it's its woolly fur. Hence, uh, you know how how it looks so much like a sheep. And it has, in this case, either black or brown fur. Uh, other in other cases, uh, outside of the the white. Uh, fur that it had as well and then also it's known to have these big bulging eyes uh, I guess these eyes of course allow it to see very well in within the forest of Madagascar floppy ears a very long muzzle probably used again to to, to try to find uh, food out there within the deep forest and then these large cloven hooves the only time it seems to have been seen though is at night because it's apparently a nocturnal creature so if you happen to be in Madagascar roaming around the forest and then it's nighttime, then you have a much better chance of running into this uh, Fonciandri. And then finally, it's presumed to be something on the lines of a herbivore. So you don't have to be worried about this thing coming out and attacking you and trying to kill you and eat you. No, in this case, it would just be simply eating plants. But that's pretty much it. No one else has been able to capture footage of this creature there in Madagascar. No real photos, anything along those lines. Instead, just simply, this thing is almost as elusive as our Bigfoot when it comes to people trying to capture any evidence of it within those forests. But that's also all the info associated with it. Pretty brief, as I was mentioning, when it comes to these random pages. But that's it. That's everything tied to these two, in this case, our special edition mixtape video of the Cryptids of the Week. If anyone has anything else I might have missed, please post those comments below. That'd be great to hear. Anybody happen to have been from the Connecticut area, known of the legend of this bird, this humility, that would have been something to see it in action. I have seen videos, like in this case of birds, falcons specifically, Those are there are videos out there on YouTube where you see them on the hunt, and they're amazing to watch. It's absolutely amazing the way they dart and then pivot left and right, up down, just at lightning speed, uh, quickly matching anything in terms of the prey that they're trying to to, to to get at. So imagine something like this, in this case, this bird humility, having so much more of, of like several times over abilities on that part, and then being able to dodge bullets as well. So very interesting stuff. So, all right, everybody. Thanks again, as always. Take care.